Hello helpful programmer here and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about user input and how to move characters or objects. First off let's open our project. My project is tutorial 1. For this project we're going to create a new header file called moving. So we go to add new item header file and let's call it moving and go to add. If it isn't already, move into the source files folder. First off, before we do anything, let's go to the main.cpp and include it. Make sure this inclusion is after .gdk.h as some of the functions might not work if we don't have it after. Going into moving.h, let's create a function called moving, seeing as this will hold all of our moving characters. Open and close parentheses and open and close brace. Now let's place it somewhere inside our main.cpp file. Let's place it inside the while loop as because as we want it to go through each time see if we're moving it or the object or anything. Going back to moving.h file. Let's make our first if statement. If open the parentheses and then db left key db left key is very simple as it just means the left key open close parentheses and equal to 1 so it's equal to true equal to 0 would be false open close bra brackets inside the brackets let's move the object but first off we need to learn about moving object we want to move the object this left or right and it would be on a scale 0, negative 1, negative 2 but it's not really like that it's really like this up or down so if I'd say move sprite to 1 then all it would do is move it up that's not what we want we want to move it left so what we do we use the db rotate sprite to rotate it and then we can go negative 3, negative 3, 3 to move it around. So let's go back to the tutorial and teach you how to do that. The first function is db rotate sprite because we want to rotate the sprite. Let's try and find the ID of the sprite we want to rotate. So we go to setup.h Let's see what picture we loaded. We want to move the box, which is load ID of 2. And then we go to create and say, OK, if there's millions, and then we search for 2, the load ID of which 2, and that'll be the box, and see what the proper ID is, which is 2 as well. So you go to moving.h and type in 2, because that's one we want to move, and then the angle. We want to rotate it 90 degrees. Next one is DB move sprites. This one will actually move the sprites up or down, but in this case left or right. We want to move number two, negative three. The reason we want to move it negative three is on this line, negative three is left. So if we say negative three, it will move negative three. The numbers are in pixels, but it is a lot more than just three pixels when you're moving it because it loops a lot. Last but not least we have to rotate it back to its normal angle which is zero. So I go ID of two and rotate it to zero. You, you don't rotate it plus the previous rotation you rotate it to the angle specified so we specify zero. If you specified 180 it would move to 180 it wouldn't move to 270. So zero and the parentheses and do comma um semicolon and do exactly the same but with the right key so db right key you want to rotate it 90 degrees but instead of negative 3 you want to move it 3 so just delete the negative as you can see this is, should all work now except we need to put a classification for all functions as we did in the previous project Let's give it a classification of voids. As you should know, it won't return anything, any integers. 
let's go now and run the program. Once the program has compiled, you'll see what we did on the last lesson, but now we can move it to user input. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's helped a lot.